let me tell you I'm in love with you tonight Girl, you for me And I'll be for you I don't care what people might say Just ask and I'll do What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of J. Yes. Back again with another one, another tutorial that is. And this time we have probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite ballads from Silk. And I'm actually a big Silk fan. Definitely don't think they got their just due. You know, they definitely deserve more than what credit than what people give them. You know what I'm saying? Some, you know, anyway. It's a tutorial, not a um, history lesson on Silk. So, <laughs> Girl, You For Me by Silk. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Nassim Muhammad again for sponsoring this tutorial also. And um, he wanted me to kind of focus on the live performances. Um, it's a performance. Like you can tell it's a BET performance back in the day. And Gary is on the piano, little Gary, Gary Jenkins, who is like the, the power singer of the group, the one that can sing pretty much any note that's that's in existence whether it's high or low <laughs> so he's on the piano is that's it it's just him playing on the piano and the rest of them singing i'll have a link to that particular performance in the description of this video so you can see which performance uh um, i'm talking referring to all right so it's based off of that one but i'm still but i still went to the original one because that performance lacked it lacked the bridge of the from the original, you know, from the original recording. So I still, regardless to whether you want to do that live performance or the original one, it's almost is almost nothing different. It's just little minor things. So all right, enough talking. Let's get into it. First, you got the intro. You have this little me this little melody that just goes. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's all it is. It's just ding, 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 ding. No chords or anything. Just so you have A, G, F sharp, D, jump back up to A, and you hold that for a couple seconds, like for like a, a beat and a half. You hold it just a little bit longer, and then you finish the the lick with G, F sharp. D and then you go to the lower A okay like the other time we kept going up to this higher A this time you go to the lower A if you purchase the court sheet or you receive it because you're pledging five dollars or more on Patreon um, you'll see where it says intro and in parentheses it'll say single notes so you'll just see these letters written now they're not chords it's just single notes okay so again A G F sharp D, go up the A again, then G, F sharp, D, and go to the lower A, an octave lower. Okay, and in rhythm, you have, no, you don't, you don't have that. This is what you have. Okay, that's all it is. Okay, so that's the first part. Then the intro, your first chord is gonna be a G major seven. G, D on the left hand, G, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Then you're going to do, this is an A dominant seven chord over G. That's what we're going to call it. Forget about all those question marks up there. I don't know why they didn't just say, hey. Anyway, so G, D. So you keep your left hand the same. Keep your left hand the same. G and D. And your right hand is going to play an inverted a dominant seven chord which is g a c sharp and e so you got in in, in theory it's almost like just playing an a major chord over g right which is 
when you're doing the third inversion of the A dominant end. Okay, all right, we're going to keep it. <laughs> then you're going to move to a, a F sharp minor seven, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp on the left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Then you're going to go to a B minor seven, double B on the left hand, right hand, A, B, D, F sharp. And then you're going to go to a A major over C sharp chord, double C sharp on the left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Then you're going to do B minor seven over D. It's also known as a D six chord, but um, on the chord sheet, if you look on my digital piano, that last chord written out there, suggestive uh, name for the chord, does say B minor seven over D. That's what I put on the sheet, okay, on the chord sheet. So double D on the left hand, and then on your right hand, A B D F sharp, B minor seven over D, and then a E minor nine. You can do E, B, E on the left hand, right hand, G, B, D, F sharp. Okay. And then you're going to go to uh, the B minor 7 chord, but this time it's going to be over A. Okay. So A on your left hand. You can use this F sharp if you like. A and F sharp, you don't have to have it because you have it up here. But if you want to, on the left hand and on the right hand, you have A, B, D, and F sharp. So that's a B minor 7 over A. Then your next chord is going to be, it's a F sharp minor 7 and is over B. Okay. So you got double B on the left hand, double B, B as in boy. Right hand, you have F sharp, A, C sharp, E, okay? And then um, the chords I'm getting ready to show you right now, the next two chords are the chords that's played on the live version with Gary Jenkins on the piano playing. It's not the, the next two chords. These are not the chords that's played on the recording. I will show you those next, but this is off of the recording. The live recording, I should say. The live performance. Let me be very clear. This is These next two chords are not on the studio recording of this song. It's on the live performance on BET probably 20 plus years ago. So the next chord would be... This is a G minor 7 over C. Okay? Double C on the left hand, right hand is G, B flat, D, F, and then your next chord is going to be a C at nine over D. Okay, so that's double D on the left hand, right hand C, D, E, G. So that's the rest of your intro after you play that little melody. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, now those last two chords, live performance again. Now, in the studio, the version that you bought the CD or something, you know, back in the day. The first two chords of that progression is the same. You still got your B minor 7 over A. Okay. You still got your F sharp minor 7 over B. But then your next chord is going to be a C major 9 chord. Double C on the left hand. E, G, B, D on the right hand. And then you're going to go to a, a minor 7 over D. So double D on the left hand, G, A, C, E. Okay, so that progression from the recording, uh, studio recording was. Tonight is the night. Okay, so again, the live performance with Gary Jenkins on the piano. 
which I actually like better than the recording, by the way. <laughs> I think those quotes is better. In the studio recording. Okay. All right, so you pick whichever one. you. Which I, I actually like what Gary Jenkins did better than what I heard in the studio. So, okay. All right, so that's your introduction. Uh, basically most of the, you're going to do most of those. Oh yeah. You actually minus those last two chords. You're going to use those same chords for the verse. So I don't have to spell out anything for, um, for this part of the, for the verse right here tonight. So you're going to do your G major seven again. All these are chords I spelled out. So let's just move quickly. Cause it's already 11 minutes into the video. All right. So there go your G major seven tonight is the night. Now, this is at A dominant 7 over G, which we did in the intro. In the, now, this is F sharp minor 7. Just like from the intro to B minor 7. Okay. Then you got your A major over C sharp. Then you have your B minor over D. Okay. All these chords I spelled out already. Then you got your E minor nine. Okay. Then you have your B minor over A. B minor or B minor seven. I'm doing B minor seven over A. Okay. And then you got your F sharp minor seven over B. Okay. Those are all the chords that's in the intro. And the only ones that we're not playing is the, we don't have to do that. That's the only one in the intro. That's the only time you play those. But anyway, so you to putting those chords together. Tonight is the night and the moon is right. Baby, can I tell you? I'm in love with you tonight. Then you play those chords again. The more love we make. I'm sorry. The more love we make. And the more love we take. Baby, can I tell you? Now I want you get away. Okay. So this is the same thing now for the chorus. You got, girl, you for me, and I'll be for you. I don't care what people might say. Okay. And then you play those chords again. So let's go to the next part. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm going to show you the chords. <laughs> All right. So for the chorus, the way I like to do it is I do an E minor first. It then jumped to E minor seven. Okay, so girl, you for me like that. So the first one is E, B, E on the left hand, G, B, E. Right. So that's how I do the regular E minor. Girl, you for me. So after um, you say me, then I just come down to E minor seven. Left hand stays the same. Right hand is just a root position. E, G, B. D, E minor 7. Girl, you for me. I just like the way it sounds when you do that. And then you're going to go to, uh, you got your F sharp minor 7. You know, we've been playing this throughout the whole song. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. It's been a minute since I spelled it out. Left hand and on the right hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Then you're going to put the F sharp minor 7 over B again. And we've done that throughout the song. So now you got B on the left hand, and again, F sharp, A, C sharp, E. F sharp minor seven over B. And now we got this little progression. I don't care what people might say. All right, so you got your E minor nine. That's the I don't, okay? E, B, E. These are chords we played already. Left hand, G, B, D. F sharp. I don't. Now we I don't think we did F sharp minor seven over E, but I mean it's not that hard, right? <laughs> so this then so you're gonna go to F sharp minor seven. This time put it over E, double E on the left hand, 
F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Now this is a regular um, E minor chord, but if I ever have to come back to this, um, like let's say I have to play it at a, a wedding three years later, I put down, for me to remember which inversion of E minor I did, that I put, do remind me that I put the E on the top, is I wrote G6 over E. And it's just so funny, I didn't even realize it before, but if you look at my digital um, piano up there, that last chord, it actually says you can call it the G6 over E also. So that's what I did. So I wrote it like that, but it's really, it's just an E minor chord. E minor they with an E on top, but just for so I would it's for me you can you know E minor whatever works for you. All right, I know how I work right. <laughs> and then you're gonna go to your B minor seven, a double B on the left hand, A B D F sharp on the right hand, and then after that all those were chords that we kind of you know did, but then you're gonna just go to a regular A major chord, regular A be honest with you if you want you can add the nine i'll leave that up to you all right so double a on the left uh left hand and on the right hand we have a c sharp e if you want a fuller sound add this b and that's just call it a at nine okay right that's the first chord and then the next chord all you're doing is taking your left hand off a moving it up to b keep your right hand the same and play the chord again Okay, so that's an A over B chord, or if you're doing an add nine, it's an A add nine over B. Okay? So, girl, you for me, and I'll be for you. I don't care. Oh, that's not right. I don't care what people might say. Then you play it again. Just ask and I'll do. I'll do it for you. There'll be no more games that we'll play. And all I did was just add that A sharp right there. You don't have to do it. That's just something I did. Okay, then you go back to the verse again. And then you play the chorus again. Now, on the live performance, there are no other chords to show you. They just kind of just, um, Gary just keeps playing the chords. You know what I'm saying? He just keeps playing the chords over and over again. And baby, baby, you're driving me crazy. And, it, you know, there's a... You're driving me well, you know how Gary goes real crazy, right? Da, 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 baby. Ah. Okay, so he's so he's losing his mind. Okay, in the song, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, so that's it for the live performance. But on the recording, there is that part where it goes, "I want to see." Who can make who scream first? Now, can you make me scream? Can you make me scream? That part right there, it, it is um, it's three chords that they play right there. They play a G major seven chord. Okay, we know that chord. Then they play a F sharp minor seven over B. We know this chord also. And even though we know this chord, I don't think we played it through the record uh, through this um, tutorial. So E minor seven over A. OK, so that's double A on the left hand. And then on the right hand, you have E, G, B and D. So you got. I want to is you come on. Something that goes, I want to see who can make who scream? Can you make me scream? Can you make me scream? Sorry about that, DJ. Again. That's how you play the chord. I, I I did the rhythm wrong last time. So you go like that. That's that. That's the rhythm. It's just those three chords. Come on. I wanna see 
who can make who scream first can you make me scream can you make me scream Go back to the chorus. Go and do for me, yeah. And now be for you. I don't care what people might say. And when you finish with the song, you can just kind of do E minor seven when you're done, because that's the key we're in. E minor seven. <laughs> Forgot to say that, didn't I? E minor seven. Uh, e, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. All right. Uh, so we're in key of E minor. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, like I said, on that live recording, uh, the live performance, uh, they never played those chords. He didn't play that part. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just threw that in there. So. Regardless to which version you want to play, this tutorial covered both. <laughs> All right, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.